So if you haven't seen yet, Rode recently released the Rode Video Mic Go 2. I picked it up immediately. I bought it on Amazon because I'm a huge fan of Rode microphones. And here it is, the Rode Video Mic Go 2. In this video, we're going to talk about this microphone. This is going to be mostly a sound test. I'll get more into that in a second. But let's jump right in, starting right now. So what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i am ken the content coach and once again in this video we're going to talk about the rode video mic go to this mic was just released recently by rode i'm a huge fan of rode microphones i'm pretty sure that rode is my favorite microphone as you can see i've got the pod mic in front of me this is what i use for most of my videos and live streams i'm a huge fan of rode so as soon as this came out i had to pick this up so this is the brand new Rode Video Mic Go 2, and honestly, at $99, you are not going to find another microphone that does nearly as much as what this microphone will do. It's a fantastic microphone. In this video, we're going to cover quickly what comes in the box, and then we're going to do mostly sound checks. I do have another video planned in the future very soon that I'll dive deeper into the features, the ways you can use this mic with the apps and all that stuff. But this video is going to be mostly a sound check because I'm guessing at this point, if you're searching for this video, the sound test, what, what it sounds like is probably what you're looking for first. So that's what I want to give you first. So first we'll cover what comes in the box. The Rode Video Mic Go 2 comes with an adjustable Rycote style mount with built-in cable management, a front foam cover, and a 3.5 millimeter cable for connecting to your camera. So at this point, let's go ahead and start jumping into our sound test. We're going to do several of these. We're going to do some outside, inside in the studio. We're going to do around traffic, loud, quiet, I want to give you kind of a good sampling of everywhere that you may use this microphone. So let's do that right now. While we head out to test the sound quality, here are a few things you need to know about the Rode Video Mic Go 2 in one minute. The Rode Video Mic Go 2 is a compact shotgun microphone and has the same annular line tube technology as the NTG and NTG5. This mic is going to do a great job of picking up sound directly in front of it while reducing a lot of the background noise, giving you a professional sound in almost any environment. There is virtually no weight to this mic, just 89 grams or less than two tenths of a pound. This mic does not use batteries and is powered by your device. It plugs straight into your camera with a 3.5 millimeter TRS output or into smartphones and computers with the USB-C output. The USB-C connectivity also allows for advanced connectivity and customization using Rode Connect, Rode Reporter, and the Rode Central apps for accessing advanced features and customization. And the price for all of this, $99 at the time of filming this video. Okay, we're here. Let's see the most important part of this entire video. Let's see how this mic sounds. All right, you guys, so we're gonna do some sound test outside. Now, right now I am using the onboard mic on the Canon M50. As you guys know, the onboard mics are usually not the best way to go, but I did want to do this little clip so that you could hear a little bit of this before we get into the comparison. I'm gonna hook up the Rode Video Mic Go 2 and we'll see how that sounds. All right, so this is now with the Video Mic Go 2 connected through the Canon M50. All the audio settings are where they should be. As you guys know, you want to make sure that you do set your camera audio, your camera microphone to manual, and then tweak your settings a little bit to make sure that you are going just below that negative 12 decibels so that you're not clipping, so that the camera picks up and the mic picks up the audio well, and then you can edit and post. That'll make sure that your audio is clear and you won't be clipping. So this, again, is the mic connected. We are at a local park out in my area. I picked this area right now because it's a little bit quieter here, so this should be pure voice. I wanted you to hear just my voice coming through. I'm about 12 inches away from the microphone, and so this is straight up audio as you're gonna hear it. I'm not gonna edit this. I want you to hear it exactly as it was recorded. Of course, when you do edit and post through whatever editing software you use, you always get better audio results. But how does this sound? Some testing I've done already should sound pretty good. Let's go try another spot. We will go a little bit louder do a couple of different tests here for you guys. Okay, so this is a really busy road where I live. I don't expect much as far as sound quality from here. You're probably gonna pick up a lot of the traffic, but I did wanna come test this in this environment because a lot of you are gonna use this in these type of settings. Around traffic, around things like this, a lot of you are gonna to wanna to use this in a setting where it's kinda of loud. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna go test this in a couple of other spots that are a little bit less busy see how the sound comes out so this is outdoors this is a park that I love to come to there's usually people here there's a road not too far behind so you should be able to pick up some traffic noise but hopefully my voice is coming in clear over that so what do you think what do you think of the sound we got ducks around here really really nice park I love it out here so we'll spin around and pick up some sound real quick
We got the geese taken off over there. So we'll see how that sounds together. This will be my first time out here recording with this microphone. So let me know what you think down in the comments. We're gonna go do a couple of other tests and then we will be almost done. So let's head back to the studio to do some more sound checks inside. First, let's talk about what we just heard. I have to say, I was really impressed with the sound quality of the mic in those outdoor environments, especially right next to the road. The traffic on that road is loud, 55 miles per hour, generating a lot of noise and wind, and my voice still came through crystal clear. For me, that alone makes this mic perfect for outdoor vloggers as it will pick up your voice clearly regardless of the noise around you. It does a great job of blocking out the noise not immediately in front of the mic. This Rode Video Mic Go 2 did an amazing job outside. Let's head inside for a few indoor studio tests. Okay, so now that we're back home and out of the cold, man, I'm t every time that I've tried to film something this year with a microphone outside, there's snow on the ground. And this is Kentucky, it shouldn't be this way. Anyway, now that we're back home, out of the snow, it's warm in here. Now I've got the Rode mic connected through USB-C into my Mac because I want to test it as a USB microphone. Now at this point, I'm not using any of the apps. I have not done anything to change the sound. This is raw sound from the mic, from my mouth through, that's it. So this is what you can expect when you connect this as a USB mic. Uh, we've kind of already done some testing that you'll hear in just a minute. It, to me, sounds fantastic. So this mic, like I said in the beginning, this mic does everything for $100. You're not going to find another mic that does as much as this microphone. It's very versatile in where you can use it and how you can use it. So this is the sound here. Now the next thing I want to check out is testing it with two people. So let's bring in my beautiful wife, Mel. Right now, let's do that. Okay, so now we have the Rode Video Mic Go 2 connected in kind of a two-person setup here. This is connected with the USB-C through my Mac. So we're trying to simulate, somebody asked me a question about would this mic work well for two people speaking. So that's what we're doing here. First of all, we have my beautiful wife Mel with us. Hi guys. Mel's been in several videos with me before. Um, she kills it, she supports it, so I love it. So this is a two-person setup. Now what I would say about this is that uh, we've kind of tested this a little bit. It sounds good, but you would have to be this close because with this type of microphone, you do have to kind of be right up on it. So this is really about how far apart you could be. You, you wouldn't be able to use this mic with somebody, for example, in front of you because they'd be talking to the back of the microphone. Wouldn't pick that up very well, but this type of setup would work well. So so anyway, how was your day? It was good. It was busy. Um, just did a lot of errands and a lot of shopping and, yeah, just busy she's, all day. She's baking a bunch of cookies for a giveaway we did on a live stream. So yeah, if you missed that one, she does come live stream with us sometimes, so she's awesome. All right, so this has been testing with a two-person setup. Again, this would be kind of how you would have to do this, so hopefully this helps. Okay, so one more test here. This is the Rode Video Mic Go 2 on my Canon M50 um, connected in. The settings on the camera are correct, so this is manual sound with everything set up right so that we don't clip. This should be very clear from the weeks of testing I've done so far. So again, my studio is sound treated. I got foam panels. I got stuff everywhere so that the sound is very nice in here. So this is the sound from the microphone. I'm about a foot, maybe a foot and a half away right now. And so this is the sound as you're hearing it. Now I'll kind of do like I did last time when I did the Rode Video Micro. I'll take a few steps back. So Ken the Content Coach, Ken at KenTheContentCoach.com, Ken at KenTheContentCoach.com. So that's from a distance a little bit. So we'll see how that sounds, but I, you, you, this mic is fantastic. I think this is my favorite portable mobile type road mic that I've ever picked up. Absolutely thrilled that I picked this microphone up. I'll be using this a lot for different settings and different types of videos. So at this point also, I wanna do one more test. We're gonna actually use epidemic sound. I'm gonna play some music and kind of walk around the microphone so that you can hear how well the microphone works with the, the, uh, the audio right in front of it as opposed to behind how well it kind of blocks that out. So Epidemic Sound is the site that I use for copyright free, royalty free music. You can check that out down in the description of this video or on my website, kenthecontentcoach.com slash music. Free trial there, all that good stuff. So check it out. All right, so let's play some music. Here we go.
So that's been the sound testing of this microphone. You heard that in many different environments and loud environments, outdoors, indoors, through my Canon M50, through my Mac. There's so many different ways to use this microphone. In a future video, I'm gonna actually go a little more deeper in depth in using the apps, ways that you can enhance the sound from it. You can use the companion apps from Rode to do that. I didn't do that in this video. This was all raw audio directly from the microphone because I wanted you to hear what you were gonna get from the mic itself clean with no editing. I'm also not gonna edit and post. So you're gonna hear exactly the way it came through the mic, through the camera, and through my Final Cut Pro to you. So all that being said, who is this mic good for? This mic would be perfect for content creators, live streamers, YouTubers. I've used it in several TikTok and Instagram Reel videos over the last couple of weeks. It's fantastic for that. I think from hearing this mic outside and the ways that I tested it, I think this would be perfect for vloggers also. If you're doing vlogging type stuff outdoors, it's perfect for that. And even narrative filmmakers, I think if you're doing some voiceover work for films or narrating something, I think this is a great microphone for that also. There's so many ways you can use this. Highly recommend this again at $99. You are not going to find another microphone that does as much as this one for what it is for a mobile shotgun type microphone. So highly recommend it. Until the next video where I break it down further, I have reviewed the Rode Video Micro also. So that will pop up on the side here. So check that out. You can compare both of those. I do have both. I love this one. Recommend this one for sure. Love the other one also, but this one's great. Appreciate you watching this video. Until the next one, remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Just hit record. We'll see you with the next video.